What is going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is Mattia. I'm a 19 year old email copywriter and marketer. And today we're here to talk about how to grow an email list. Okay. Because I see a lot of email marketers or copywriters that are starting to work with clients and they panic when they ask them to grow the email list. They don't know how to do it. They don't know how to create the form, landing page, maybe the lead magnet. So today we're going to use a free tool, which is also the one I use systeme.io, which is actually a great tool considering the value it gives you and the money it asks you, zero. And we're gonna see how we can use systeme.io to grow our email list. So we're gonna do it in first person, but if you were to do it for a client, you would do the exact same thing. So let's not waste any time and let's get into it. Okay, so we're here on systeme.io. I just created a new account that we're gonna use for also the next videos, next tutorials. How can we start collecting contacts? Because if we go here on contacts, we see that we don't have any contact. We have no contact, okay? So how do we start getting people to join our email list? Okay, we go on funnels and we create a new funnel. Uh, I'm gonna make myself smaller because you wanna see the tutorial. I'm sure you don't wanna see me. And the name of the funnel, let's call it contact form number one, okay? And domain, for now, we're going to use the one that System.io gives us. And what is the goal of this funnel? To build an audience, because we want to get contacts. Uh, currency doesn't really matter. And let's save it. Okay, so now we have our funnel, contact form number one. Let's click on it. And we see that System.io automatically, based on our goal, gives us the type of page that we need. So we have a squeeze page and a thank you page. Let's go into the squeeze page. Now we have to choose a template, okay? Whatever you like. I generally go with this, but you know what I do? I change all of it. Like once I'm in, I just customize it all. I'm gonna show you my personal um, forms later on this video, but for now, let's just use the one of the template. So let's select this template. Uh, we can call it whatever we want here. We can give it the name of form and uh, let's go ahead and edit the page. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Uh, let's take off the top. These forms, when they are just forms to collect an audience, we generally want them to be as simple as possible. So let's say that this is a form for people to join our newsletter. Okay. So you can take all of these off. Okay. And we're left with just this. We, once we take this off, it looks like this, okay? Now we want to edit it. So again, let's say we're doing a newsletter. Here we say, join the number one uh, newsletter in the world. Let's say it's an AI newsletter. The number one, uh, with a click, the number one AI newsletter in the world. Um, get update, stay. stay on top of the AI wave with one uh, email a week sent straight into your inbox okay this is just it's shit copy but it's good enough for our example uh here i would take this off and what i generally do is i add an image down here and uh, you're gonna see what i mean when i show you my forms later but uh, let's leave it like this now because we don't really care uh subscribe join for free mm -mm -mm -mm. actually here let's give it a name uh, juby ai juby ai and down here the number one ai newsletter in the world here I would make this a bit bigger. Well, you're gonna once you start using systemido.io, you're gonna get you know comfortable with it. And down here I would put a image. Okay, if I had an image ready, I would do image. I would put it down here, and here I can put an image of my you know my logo for the newsletter. Join for free. And here uh, we generally wanna ask only the first name, so we see that here. Uh, input type first name 
but here it says enter full, full name. So what we want to do here is change it to first, enter your best email, that's a good one, and it's going to go as email. If you were to put more uh, fields, you can do that. If you go here and down here, you can insert more things. So if you do form input and you add it here, you see that you can, uh, this is a form input, you click on it and you can select the type. So you can collect the company name, the city, the country, phone number, whatever your client or you want to collect, you can do it here. In this case, all we need is first name and email. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. This is good because it's a checkbox. We want them to check the box before, no, so they are aware they're going to receive emails, but we could actually even take it off because they're signing up for a newsletter that is going to send them emails. Here, um, yes, well, this is a button. This button is going to submit the form. And what we want to say in the button, I don't like to say get started. Uh, let's say I'm ready to join. Okay, something a bit more intriguing maybe. I'm ready to join. And uh, now let me explain you here. This here is going to submit the form. This is the, the option that we want to use. The, uh, like when the button is clicked, the, sub the form is going to be submitted. And here we're going to say, what, what, where do we want to get the contact? Where do we want to bring him after they submit the form? Like imagine a person is submitting the form. Where do we want to get them? So for example, if you do to the next step, it's going to go to the next step of your funnel. So here we see that the next step of our funnel is the thank you page. While if we want to, uh, there are also other options. We can redirect them to a custom URL. So if you have a landing page with a video or your client has a landing page with a video for people who submit the form, you can simply redirect them over there. Or you can also do another, another redirection. So they click submit the form and nothing, nothing else happens. Now, I would say we save the changes. So let's go out. Let's copy this. Let's paste it. Okay, so when people get to our page, it's gonna look like this. It looks like shit, but we did not do any editing. Now, let me show you how mine, that you know, it took me a bit more time to do them and I use to collect my leads, look like. Okay, so here is the first one. And this one, I use it for my newsletter. And he says, join Jubi's newsletter, free value right into your inbox. Accelerate your growth speed, actionable strategies proven. Okay. But you see how it looks like. It's simple and you'll be surprised of how many leads this thing has gathered. It's simple, right? It's free. People just put the first name. They put their best email. They click that and I get the contact. This is another one that I did that I have. And it's to join my Discord server. So instead of sending them directly to my Discord, I created this. So here they see what they're going to get for. Join for free, first name, email. And then here I create the redirect to URL and they're going to be redirected to the invite for Discord. Okay, so I gathered, so I got their name and email before giving them access to something free. And here is something else that I use for a lead magnet. Uh, the email before the template, I created this image. This, this is uh, the same template of this, as you can see. But I just made it a bit better. It's, I put an image that I did with Canva down there, put a bigger title, the, the big title. It's 100% free, full name, best email, download it. They're going to be redirected to uh, the URL of uh, Google Docs. Okay, simple. So here we did redirect to page, redirect to URL instead of going to next step. Now let's check if R, um, the one that we just created, works. So let's actually put my first name. Not, that's not my first name. Let's put one of my emails. Doesn't matter if it's actually a real email. Uh, at gmail.com and let's say I'm ready to join. Now we did not say to like we did not set up the thank you page, so it doesn't look like that doesn't doesn't show it. But let's see if actually um, systemido.io get got our contact. So now we go back to contacts, and we see 
we have a contact. If we go on the dashboard, we see that we have a new contact. We see that here we got a new lead. So this is, guys, how simple it is to collect leads on System.io. You create that form for your client, you set it up a bit, and you redirect traffic to it, and you see that it automatically, automatically contacts, takes your contacts and grows your email list. Here is your email list. Now, in the next videos, we're also going to see how to segmentate these uh, um, email lists, how to put tags, uh, automation, etc., etc., etc. So I'm definitely going to create a playlist for System.io and then a full training on everything. But that's all for today. I hope you found this helpful. And so please leave a comment, drop a like, whatever you want to do. It really helps my channel grow and reach more people. And I suppose I'm going to see you in the next video.